Hello, my dearest Aries, and welcome to your weekly love tarot reading starting the week of May the 25th up until June the 3rd. This is a timeless reading, so no matter the date, there is an angel message here for you. Also, please do remember that this is a general reading and energies are fluid, so they take time to pick up pace depending on the situation at hand. So please be patient with the energies. And thank you so, so much to all of my current subscribers. I love you guys so, so much. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it at the end of the reading. This really helps to support me and my channel to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform. So I am setting the intention right now for everyone who likes and subscribes to receive back 10 times more love, blessings, and abundance for your love and support. And for personal readings, I now have openings. So please do check the description box below. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. All right. Hello, hello, my dearest Aries, and welcome to this week. I can't believe it's almost June. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start calibrating to the energies of my dearest Aries. Thank you. Thank you, guys and angels, for providing any messages that want to come through, any guidance that you have for my dear Aries. Hopefully it comes through during their reading. All right, thank you. Okay, and always please remember, my dearest Aries, that energies are fluid. So if I'm not talking about you, it's a possibility that I'm picking up on the energies of the person that you are dealing with, okay? So you can reverse the energies as you see it fit, okay? And it could also be for your sun, moon, rising, or your Venus placements if those are dominant, okay, in your chart. All right, my dear Aries, and you are starting this week with the dominant energy of the, wow, secrets being revealed. How exciting. We have here the moon in the reverse. So yeah, whatever has been kept in the dark, whatever has been sort of kept away from somebody knowing, it looks like someone is ready to reveal these secrets. Wow, how exciting. I wonder what, yeah, see, communication. Okay, so someone's someone's definitely ready to communicate. Okay, I wonder what this is all about. Let me know in the comments below. So what we have here, look at this. Oh my God, you guys are definitely starting with a bang, okay? You are starting this week off with a bang. Whoever this person is, you could possibly be dealing with a cancer. It doesn't have to be, but you are ready to move forward, charge forward, communicate. Whoever this person is, is ready for movement forward. Wow. Challenging your um, your energy this week is definitely that sort of like um, an apology coming through or you're not sure whether to move forward with this person and communicate emotions, okay? So there's still an energy lingering there of I'm not too sure, okay? Now here for your beliefs, yeah, see, so you want this union. You are divinely guided towards this person and this person feels divinely guided towards you. There's a lot of love here, okay? But for some reason, someone is not expressing it or maybe they haven't been but guess what something will be revealed wow okay what we have here for the root of the issue see my god you guys are divinely guided to be together you guys are soulmates you guys could possibly be twin flames okay it's a general reading for some of some of you guys you know take it as it resonates but here is a divinely guided union you guys are definitely you know here um you guys belong together okay i mean i can't put it in any other way Okay, now what we have here for the recent past, yeah, there was some kind of injustice in the recent past. Maybe you felt like this person um, did or said something that was, um, it came across as harsh and you kind of felt like, you know what, I'm, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this person anymore or this person, that's how they feel about you. But definitely in the recent past, somebody felt like there was an imbalance. Okay. Now here for your near future. Yeah. What we have here for your near future is definitely, you know, somebody is holding a lot of secrets. There's one person that really wants this connection. I mean, look at this. They want it so badly. It's sort of like they know you're the one or you know that they're the one, you know, take it as a resonance, but they're not communicating this. However, there is some information that will be revealed this week that will either enlighten you, the situation, or them into maybe making that offer, finally making that offer. My goodness, I wonder who this is. You could be dealing with a Pisces, it doesn't have to be, or a Gemini, okay, it doesn't have to be, but here we have for your self-perception what you need to know, yeah. So this person definitely feels a connection towards you, okay? There's definitely, this is a divinely guided unit. I mean, look, 
you guys have all of the best cards here, okay? You have all of the best energies representing uh, these major positions, okay? So here we have, you know, as the lovers here, um, as far as what you need to know is basically one person does feel the connection, but because of whatever was said in the past or whatever, you know, happened between you two in the past, there has not been any um, actual showing of emotion, okay? Somebody is holding secrets or has been holding secrets, but it looks like they're getting ready to reveal this, whether this is you or them, okay? Take it as a resume. Um, I'm also picking up on the energy where one of you is very intuitive. One of you can pick up on signals. Uh, it's sort of like you know this person's intention without having to ask them any questions, okay? One of you guys is very intuitive. Now, what we have here for how they see you. Yeah, they see that you are not really communicating with them, okay? Or this is how you see them. There's one person here who is not communicating or and or if, excuse me, if they are communicating, they're not communicating in the best of ways, okay? This is sort of like an impulsive person that did or said something in the past, okay? Didn't mean to, but it came across in that way, which now has led to this situation becoming um, sort of like stagnant and out of balance, okay? Now, what we have here for their next move or your action advice, yeah, so here we have a person who is not really ready to communicate this yet because they don't feel stable within their emotions, okay? This person still needs to process a lot of emotions, but you know, I cannot emphasize enough something is going to come into the light. Okay, let's see. Oh, wow. Someone is ready to make that sacrifice. Whoever has been very stubborn, whether it's you or them, there's one person who is very, very stubborn or has been very, very stubborn, but based on your dominant energy, some kind of revelation, some kind of truth, some kind of knowledge that you will gain this week, okay? someone will be ready to make that move. Wow. Either, you know, it looks like towards this connection. And if you are single, don't worry. Then that means that you are just ready to embrace um, maybe the dating scene. Okay. I know that it's a little bit complicated to do, to do that right now, but it's not impossible. It's not impossible. Someone is definitely ready to communicate. Okay. Let's go ahead and see exactly uh, why is this moon in the reverse? What exactly is going to be exposed? I'm so excited. Let me know in the comments below what is going on. Oh my God, I cannot make this up, you guys. Look at this again. So, you know, whenever I pick up on repetitive energies, someone is going to communicate something. Yes, maybe in the past, somebody said something that was made, um, you know, maybe uh, done out of impulsive uh, behavior, whether this is you or them, okay? But it's only because they were so conflicted. This person who did that was very, very conflicted. You know, they, they were undecided. It could possibly be a third party for some of you, for others, of you it was just something that they said based on them not having any clarity about you or the decision okay but it came across as a rather kind of like impulsive um um you know gesture and someone here did not take it too well okay and that's what caused this imbalance all right now yeah see there's a lot of conflict this created a lot of conflict okay but somebody i feel like is ready to um, it's sort of like someone is being enlightened to the intentions of this person, okay? Um, it could be good. It doesn't have to be bad, okay? Now, what we have here, let's see. Let's clarify. Why is this high priestess here as the near future? Why is this high priestess here? Wow, new beginnings. Wow, okay, so don't worry. This situation is being taken care of by source energy, by God, okay? That's why it feels so weird, okay? For some of you, um, I'm picking up on this energy of like, why does this situation feel so weird? Why do I feel so connected to this person when, you know, there has been a lack of movement, a lack of communication, or some lack thereof, okay? Um, it could possibly be that you're dealing with a person who's not confident in themselves. They see you as this empress. They see you as getting a lot of attention, you know, standing in your power, standing in your strength, and they're just watching you from the outside thinking, oh my God, I'm never going to be able to get this person to even look at me, you know, see how this empress is just standing here in her power, in her strength. And there's like another person here that's just kind of like, oh, I'm just daydreaming about this person, you know, but don't worry, this person definitely 
Um, I feel like they have a lot of love for you and a lot of passion and a lot of like desire. I'm picking up heavily on desire. They have the desire to move forward. They have the desire to communicate something because, but you know what? There's one person again that's scared because um, they don't feel like they're worthy of your time. They don't feel like they're good enough for you. Whether this is you or them, there's one person in this situation that does not feel worthy of the other. But don't worry, the universe has its hand at play. Okay, yeah, so again there will be movement forward there will be movement forward and you will start seeing it pick up this week wow beautiful let's go ahead and see what the sacrifice is what is the sacrifice that will finally be made towards this person communication movement forward passion oh my god okay your ships are finally going to come in because this person was not able to move on okay whether this is you or them maybe you know you haven't heard from this person but this person cannot let you go they're not moving on they're not going anywhere okay here we have the three of wands your ships will be coming in whoever needed to make the sacrifice will finally start making that sacrifice this week oh my god in the form of passion movement forward communication and i'm picking up on the energy where after after this gets revealed, after you find this out about this person, there will be a lot of fast movement forward. I'm picking up on positive energy, okay? Whether this is a new person or a person from your past, there will be um, communication. Maybe you will meet somebody new, okay, and you did not expect it. Maybe you are starting to believe in love again. You know, maybe you've been doing the work for some of you. You guys have been doing the work, the inner work, okay? You are starting to believe in love again. Your energy is definitely changing transforming okay and you are now attracting the these people or those people okay that see you as the empress okay that see you as the empress perhaps in the past they were not um, reaching out to you because maybe on social media they were just watching you you know from afar oh she's so beautiful he's so handsome oh they get so much attention okay because you as an Aries I mean you love fast forward moving energy the, like one of you guys said in the comments below don't tell energy to be patient how dare you you tell an Aries to be patient. That is like an unknown word, you know, term for them. That is so funny, you guys. Okay, so but don't worry, I do see that this is finally going to move forward, okay? Let me know in the comments below what exactly you guys are um, are dealing with. Yeah, see, somebody here was definitely kind of like thinking about the past, okay? Like, oh, um, what is going to serve me for the long term? But I feel like this energy where somebody is just ready to make something happen for them right now. It's like, okay, you know what? I kind of need a new beginning. I need a refreshing new start. And somebody is taking action towards you. Oh my God, or you towards them oh my god okay i really want to know you guys what this information is so please let me know because whatever has been hidden will be coming out into the open all right okay so let's jump into your angel messages okay so any angel messages for my dear aries please to provide clarity for them this week and you know what i'm also going to get um one confirmation from my guides okay and a confirmation message as well all right and wow look at what's at the bottom of the deck i just have to show you the bottom of the deck spread your wings i'm telling you somebody is ready to soar someone is ready to move forward to take action here with angel ariel do not hold back right now the timing is perfect and you are ready to soar so go for it whatever it is go for it this is confirmation okay it could be love it could be career it could be a project okay look at what we have here all is well compassion spiritual understanding and relationship okay yeah this has to do definitely with some kind of love relationship for some of you okay for others of you take it as it resonates but the dominant energy is somebody revealing their feelings or just kind of like getting more in tune with how the other person feels okay now let's start off with all is well don't worry don't worry all is well here with angel jeremiel everything is happening exactly as it is supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand so remember this is a divinely guided union the universe has its hand at play so don't worry this is all working out in your favor okay compassion angel zadkiel soften your heart with respect to the situation and all of the people involved 
involved, including yourself. Again, somebody here may have done something that came across as um, kind of like injustice, okay? Maybe a gesture, maybe they didn't communicate correctly, or maybe they just did not communicate. Have compassion for yourself and them, okay? Don't worry, it was not an attack on you. A lot of times it's pain that that person is feeling and that needs to be um, dealt with, sort of like healed, okay? Now what we have here is spiritual understanding. Angel Raziel, I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths, okay? So if you see any angel numbers, 1111, 2222, whatever numbers you see that are repetitive, okay? Could even be as uh, like 5252, five, you know, just repetition of numbers. Pay attention to what you are thinking about at that moment or what you are doing. That is confirmation for you from my guides and my angels and your own as well, okay? Here we have relationship. For those of you who are dealing with a relationship, your primary relationship is with with yourself and God and every other relationship follows from there to attract heal and balance a relationship then struggle more closely with your loving creator as you feel safe and loved within so shall your other relationships bloom and prosper so this is talking about self-love okay self-belief for those of you who maybe feel very triggered uh, still when you are around other people maybe this person triggered a hurt uh, within you just realize that you have to heal that within yourself okay it wasn't an attack on you or this is them maybe I'm talking to them maybe they feel hurt by something that you did or something that you said but it was not an attack on them okay it's sort of like something that someone did out of um being impulsive okay maybe not thinking things through all right my dears but I do hope that you enjoyed your reading I do hope that it resonated let me know in the comments below if it did and let me know what's going on I really love reading all of your stories believe me I read every single one of your messages thank you so so much for sharing that in your comments below if you did enjoy this reading please do give it a thumbs up it really helps to support me and my channel and if you have not yet subscribed please do subscribe to my channel it really helps for me to continue posting these readings for you guys on this platform um, without further ado thank you so so much for watching i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time Bye bye